So those were states which were facing huge anti-incumbency, while Delhi was uh, actually witnessing a pro-incumbency of 49 days of government. Uh, no matter what others might believe, people of Delhi believe that those 49 days were really good. No, but and they wanted it back for five people years. People were angry number two, Mr. Kejriwal number two. quit. Sure. Which he has just said. People were sure. angry sure. that he, sure. that he sure. quit. Sure, Absolutely. You're right, Barkha. And uh, you know, how many times do you see, and you've covered Indian politics for decades now, how many times do you think uh, people of a certain state want a politician to come back? We all know that politicians are treated in a manner that they want to be thrown out, not brought back. Hmm. And that talks volumes about Arvind. Okay. So, and and uh, you yeah, know, you another, know, I mean, another point that... All I, over the country. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Rahul, Rahul, make your point quickly. I'm going to slip into a break. One more, se one, ten seconds. Yeah, so the, la the last uh, point I wanted to flag on your show was that, uh, you know, look at the positive uh, agenda that Aam Aadmi Party had. You know, we were blamed for negative uh, negativity all throughout. Yeah. But look at it as far as Delhi Dialogue is concerned. We had manifesto, we had okay. issues, we had blueprint, we had a white paper for every uh, aspect, be it power, electricity, uh, uh, sorry, water, health, education, women's security. We had it all and BJP didn't even come out with a manifesto. Okay. So glaring mistakes by BJP we will and parachuting we will a candidate like at the last moment, which had uh, infaction. Uh, you know, a lot of people in the within their party were so disgruntled but because the of but the their, their but the candidate, years being put. But the candidate that you wanted to make Can chief I minister I as well last year, I've got to slip into a break, but you do make important points about the as mistakes. A vehicle, as a vehicle being Aam Aadmi Party, not BJP. Yes. We're taking a quick break. Coming back with the latest uh, numbers and the implications of this verdict in a moment. From that. The numbers of the exit polls as they stand right now, this is an aggregate of six different exit polls. They are forecasting 41 seats for the Aam Aadmi Party, 26 for the BJP, two for the Congress and one is going to others. Today's Chanakya, which was the only uh, survey to get it right in the Lok Sabha elections, is in fact predicting 48 seats for the Aam Aadmi Party. And in its analysis, which has been done after 5 p.m., unlike some of the others which were done at 3 p.m., today's Chanakya is saying that in every, uh, virtually in every caste, class and age group, more people have voted for Aam Aadmi Party than the BJP. Those are his uh, findings. The aggregate looks something like this. 41 for the Aam Aadmi Party, 26 for the BJP. If this is true, what does it mean for politics as we know it? Does it mean anything at all? Let's take it back to Sanjay Kohl. Sanjay, is it just another election? Because the BJP did not behave like it was just another election. No, uh, naturally it would not behave like it's just another election. It's coming on the back of 15 years of Congress rule, yeah. uh, which we oppose tooth and nail. And you